We're off. We're for food with mum and dad, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take them this wine. We've never had it before. It's amazing. Apothic red? Is that what it says? Apothic? Yes. It tastes like Ribena. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't taste like there's any alcohol in it. No, it's lovely. Highly recommended. <laughs> oh, look, the total man. Hey, the total man. I don't know what we're having today. I think beef and Western food. Oh, hello. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to pick no, he don't want you to. He don't want you to. Oh. It's. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's enjoying that too much though. Why? Just, it's just that kind of work, isn't it? It's difficult. It's yeah, not, well, it's not a thing. You like, don't. It needs volunteering. Come on, man. Sleeping all day. Yeah, lazy shit bag. That was really good, Mum. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think of the warehouse? It's good. Look. Look clean. Quick <laughs> chat. Yeah, I don't know what it is. He hates the camera. Yeah. When it's on, he never does anything. The second I turn it off, he'll stop. Uh, action. Come on, Toto. You let him slide down. So we've come to McDonald's mainly to try out. Say mainly to try out. It's just an excuse to have McDonald's. That triple burger. So we're gonna having that. Also, I'm quite annoyed because one of the reasons I bought the S5 was because no one around here has that model S5. Today, I've seen two of well. The same car twice, so I'm guessing someone locally just bought one. Oh well. Oh well, yeah. I also can't stand little bell ends in cars. I don't know what it is. I know I was one once, but nowadays they all seem a bit more smarmy than they used to. Like um, they're going to go places in the world when they're really Talking not. About the two next to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, look, right over there. Smarmy fucks. I'm setting up so when we do the, the triple cheeseburger, we can mm. tell. I think he's actually with his dad doing a driving lesson. Dad. <laughs> Went for so the chicken. An L plate on there as well. Yeah, that's probably why he's nervous. <laughs> Good luck, mate. If you ever see this, didn't mean it. You're not one of those mummy bastards. You just look like it at the time. Here we go, the triple burger. I'm going to expect that there's going to be too much meat for me. What? Mine was open. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have some poopies tonight. I nearly said bum. Bum to bread ratio is, <laughs> is off but. It's so buttery. It's too rich for me. There's too much cheese and there's too much meat in there. There's a place in town that's opened up that does. Bye guys. Homemade. <laughs> what? Bye guys. <laughs> it's not. What is it called? Uh, fifth Wave. Fifth Wave. But you're obsessed with Five Guys. Yeah. Every cent. Bye guys. <laughs> Actually, it is a burger joint and it's got five in it. I wonder why that is. To make a subconscious association with Five Guys, maybe. Anyway. I've never had Five Guys, I really want to try it. But I really want to try this new place. Um, one of our friends is a head chef there as well and they're proper handmade burgers. And I, I think it looks like a Five Guys kind of style burger place. Because they're not cheap. If you're buying quality, you don't expect cheap. A lot of people expect cheap though, because they're fucking twats. Yeah, just because it's a burger doesn't mean it has to be cheap. No. Yeah. My verdict is actually better than the double but not as good as a normal cheeseburger. I just prefer the, the normal cheeseburger. There's too much cheese in there for me. I'm not a cheesy mm. fan as it is. Not enough cheese for me. It's not enough sauce either to complement the rest of the beef. Oh, shut It's McDonald's. Doesn't mean I can't have my view on it. I'm not saying this is a piece of shit, don't buy it. 2 19 is cheap as fuck. Oh, look at those two kids with like five pints of orange juice and a whole baguette. I remember when I could do that and not put on weight. Oh wait, that, that was never me. <laughs> I'm weird about orange juice though. Yeah, you are. The second I start drinking it, I can't stop and it gives me stomach ache because I've drunk so much. They look like they're going to McDonald's though. So what? They've got a whole baguette. I'm going to give this four out of five. 
I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I actually meant four out of 10. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. That's why I keep eating the chicken strips in between because I want this to last longer. Mm. You want Vodafone? Yeah. Should do. I've got no service either. Maybe it's gone down. Anyway, so I've just put up on Facebook that we have now secured a warehouse, which means that we can take all this stuff and think about opening the restaurant again. And as you guys know, I plan to open it like a McDonald's and KFC fast food style thing, where you're basically ordering a takeaway and if you wanna sit in and eat, you can. So we'll have facilities for that because well, we're gonna be using expensive wooden cutlery and disposable plates and stuff we're gonna have to charge for those because we could just can't cover the costs they're, they're really fucking expensive but we have to offset off carbon footprint somehow yeah but I just I'm just saying this because I know we're gonna get so many people asked so many questions and the number one question we're gonna get is bear in mind I've said over the next couple months we'll be doing this and they'll go oh what date do you plan then I don't have a date. I don't plan any date. That's why I've said over the next few months. Otherwise I would have gone by the 12th of blah, blah, blah. And I know we're gonna get asked that a few times. And the fact we're not gonna be allowing people to bring alcohol or purchase alcohol anymore on the site, it takes up so much money and you really don't actually make that much from it. People don't realize that when they think you buy a beer in for, let's say one pound and you sell it for three. So you're making your 66% margin on there. It doesn't work like that because you've got to think how many bottles someone's broken, glasses, offering glasses to people. It is, and it's a never ending thing as well. Like, yes, yeah, sometimes you, on a good week, the difference between making money and not making money can be your alcohol sales. But when you've got a takeaway that's just a takeaway, I mean, I can still offer soft drinks. In fact, I can offer soft drinks on the gun. So I can charge basically, let's say for a large, is it 16? Yeah, 16 ounce Coke. Uh, I, can, I just charge two quid for that, that's fuck all. And um, when people can see stuff, cheap stuff like that, they buy it more often. But yeah, I just don't want it, the hassle of having alcohol here. It's, it's a lot of hoops to go through. Right, so I'm rushing off to my car, because apparently traffic warden's back on duty now. Car park was free, but apparently at, at the end of August, it's no longer free, so. Didn't know that, probably got a ticket. Oh well. Okay, so my car's just around the corner. Let's see if I did get a ticket. You're about to find out with me. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> so yeah, you can tell I got a ticket. But I mean, I think that's my, I think in a year that's my 10th parking ticket in that car park. Only lets me do two hour slots at a time and I keep forgetting, especially if I'm cooking in the kitchen. That was not so I couldn't show you before because the traffic warden was here when they were giving me the ticket. So I'll show you it now. I didn't want to film her. <coughs> She's quite good about it. So there it is. goes outside for a pee. So I just want to say massive thank you to Vlad for um, giving me this. He owns, I want to say Vivaldi's um, pizzas in Minehead. So if you're in the area, go check him out. Uh, he bought a book off me and I dropped it off there to him tonight and he just literally just gave me a bottle of wine. So that's very nice of you, thank you very much. And I will tell you exactly what it tastes like. He said it's a new house wine they've got in. So I'm gonna give that a go. Well, I'll give a good go as you guys will know. So that, that's really fucking cool of you. Thank you very much. And I hope you like the book. <laughs> The baby dog, I didn't explain. That is Liddy's dad's new puppy. We just popped round there to say hello to him. And he's really, I'm not a dog person, so. The only dogs I really find cute when they're puppies are um, Labradors and Corgis. And those big, like, they're like Huskies, but they're not Huskies, Malamutes. Are the only dogs I think are cute when they're young, otherwise they're just like, it's a dog. He was soft to touch though. Paul was just there uh, being a weirdo, I don't know if you can see him. Oh, 
That's sad. So yeah, today at work was actually pretty good. It was steady all the way through the night. I left early, obviously, to go see Lily's dad. <laughs> Lily was like, you know when we leave early, do you think they think we're not that busy next door? And I'm just like, I really don't care, to be honest. It doesn't matter if they think we were busy or not, does it? Because it's like, so what if they think we weren't busy? Doesn't mean that we weren't busy when we were. <laughs> so it's just, there's no monetary value from it, so it doesn't bother me at all. And we're gonna start sorting out the warehouse tomorrow as well. Um, we're gonna section off parts. We need to figure out where things are gonna go first, because I've got 4,000 books turning up soon. They came into the UK this week, or well, this Saturday. I paid the duty on them, which was about 1,300 in to total, and that's just to have them imported in. And then, yeah, then I'm gonna get shipped, which is in that price as well, actually. But that was quite a chunk of money gone, just to get my books into port, taxes paid, and delivered to me. I'm not sure when they're gonna be delivered, but now we've got the warehouse, they can go straight to the warehouse, which is, a bit of a godsend because we've got one of those trolley jack things so I can literally just leave them on the pallets and push them in which is a thousand times easier than carrying each one of those boxes and you don't realize how heavy one of those boxes is it's it's just like a solid block because it's paper isn't it it's paper it's just wood and they're about this big and you pick one up and you think it's gonna be weigh five kilos at most but they're so heavy they don't feel heavy for the first sort of like 500 but then all of a sudden you get into box number 30 and your arms do start to get a little bit heavy. <laughs> or maybe it's just me because I'm weak as fuck. Anyway, that's about it for today, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. For me, Tommy Man's gone. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, he's there. He's acting really weird. Anyway, I think it might be because Lily's trapped him in the front room. There we go. I did have a really horrible dream about him last night. Someone crushed his back legs, I deliberately crushed them, and I slaughtered them for doing it, but it was pretty horrific, and I woke up and thought, oh, good, it's not Tom, man. Anyway, that's a weird thing to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So as always, stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin out.